what is up everybody the comp or the comp the aftermath video and it is so cold out here it's about 9 30 in the morning it's 20 degrees it is freezing out here this is going to be our coldest day of the season by far i mean by far we're not supposed to get above 25 or 26 today and the low temperature in some parts of town could get close to about five degrees maybe a little bit less let's see here so anyway hang tight guys we're off Hey you guys, so just real quick, this is actually the, towards the end of the video, but we're gonna show you first because everyone loves Moonloaf. It's one of my favorite short little off-road areas. It connects Sugarloaf and Moon Ridge and not a lot of people know about it. It is a little bit scary, so get ready. And uh, yeah, say hi to the wifey. Hi wifey. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> so we're on Barton. In, up at the edge of Sugarloaf, or at the top of, of Sugarloaf, and we're gonna turn left on the street called Inyo. Like, in your face, yo. And then we're gonna be hitting this off-road area, as I said, called Moonloaf. For Moon Ridge and Sugarloaf. It connects Moon Ridge and Sugarloaf. And, uh, it's about to get sketchy. Ooh. I just, here, you know what, we're gonna put it in the super low gear yeah, this is probably not some, yeah oh, those people are sliding back oh great it's not a good idea they they are standing behind the car thinking they're going to be able to push it but you know what and this tow truck guy i wonder if i can back out i'm they're worried good. they're going forward. yeah but babe i don't want to slide into that car i don't think you will that's a mercedes with not the same tires as us We're super what does that have to do tires. with driving on the ice babe and and on a we're, we're on a right super now. super super steep slope guys it doesn't look like it in the video and we're driving on ice and i don't know what these people were thinking i really don't i just hope everyone's okay because this is a, 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 a you know a scary situation behind us is the tow truck to help get get these guys out of here Maybe shut shut your door, maybe. Or... I know. Okay. Okay, we did make it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. That was like the last thing that I wanted on this little part of the drive. Don't forget, guys. BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Also, in the comment section, you can find out how you can win the uh, free Airbnb and the second place prize is one of our awesome, awesome hoodies. And the third place prize is 50 bucks cash. And this Prius is gonna so, attempt to make it through. Yeah, so that's what I want you guys to do. Click on that link. Once, once you get to my Instagram, it'll give you all the instructions on what you need to do to get to be a participant in winning these awesome prizes. Because I want you guys to, to win these things and it hopefully will help grow the channel oops here's oh my gosh here's a, a truck coming down you know what we'll just let him come down or you know what yeah we'll just let him come down so this can be the problem with moon loaf sometimes is you'll you'll get a couple cars oh, no. Wait, that Prius uh, is yeah get yeah so i'm back and back down that Prius is going to be in big, big trouble. That's, I don't know what, what they were thinking. <laughs> All right, babe, can you keep an eye on? Yeah, watch out. There's somebody sliding yeah. behind you. Yeah. Guys, that, what is going on with that Prius? That is a scary situation. That is terrifying. I just, oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't want to. Can you keep an eye on the people back there for me, please, babe? I'm looking through this window. Okay. She said, be careful. Yes. Go out. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate it. She said, don't go that way. Oh, uh, we're definitely going that way. So we're just going to wait for this Prius to back all the way down. And then... 
I used to clean this bare hollow house. Guys, this That's is a, a mansion back here. Beautiful house. It's filled with furs. Every kind of fur you can think of. Every kind of animal head you can think of. Bird. There's just a massive amount <laughs> look at, of... Look. Uh, oh my gosh. He's really going to try to go around the Prius like F you, right? Oh, here he comes. Ah! Yeah, I don't know. Seriously, like, there was a big sign that said 4x4 four four only, also. And the Prius is going to make an effort here. I don't know what they're doing. You know what, guys? We're going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can really see what's, what's going on up here. Now, they've got um, chains in the front, I saw. Do they? Uh-huh. Okay. But they're still not going to make it. I just don't see that happening, but maybe. Once once they, they get out of view, first of all, I'm going to be so proud of them because... But guys, if if they start sliding to the right, there's a big cliff. I mean, it's a big cliff. So we we don't want we don't want anything to be happening to them. They should just back all the way down and let us let us go. But we're going to just sit here for a moment. And see what's going on here. Oh, they're getting out. He's gonna try and push it uphill? No. Are you kidding? No, see, I see this a lot, and I just think it's such a bad idea to stand behind a car that's gonna slide backwards. You, really, it's not a good idea. That's his wife, you guys. No, just kidding. <laughs> wife, get out and push the car. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, I'm just gonna turn off the camera for a second. Here's a police officer back right behind us. CHP. There's no way. They look like they're... They did. No way. Well, a little bit, a little bit. They still have a little ways to go. I just don't want to drive up and get trapped behind them. Please, well, please be, be safe, you guys. Time, so. Yeah, but it's flat up there. I'm not worried about it. Once they get up there, babe. I'm just so nervous with the guy standing behind the car. It's you like know what, though? Crazy. That guy's got some strength. Cause Do you think he did it? You think he I killed? think he had a little bit of an impact on that, yeah. Seriously, seeing that Prius, if it pulls this off, I can still see a little bit of it up there. If it pulls it off, I'm going to be so unbelievably proud of them. And at the same time, like upset that why would you put yourself in, the, in in that type of risk that's how this this road is you guys it's it's dangerous all right so let's check it out do you still see them up here baby I feel like I can see the shine through the tree. Do you? Okay. Well, then we'll just stay right down but here. I could be wrong. It could be snow that I'm looking at. I don't know. Oh, well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Looks like you said, once they turn that corner, they're pretty much good to go. So let's see if they did. So one of the keys to this super steep hill, and again, guys, look, there's a cliff right here to the right. One of the keys here is to keep a nice steady pace. So again, I'm really impressed that they were able to somewhat make it. You don't wanna to have to hit your gas hard right here or you will spin and start sliding backwards. Well, look at how deep that, that rivet is right there. Bless the snow tires, guys, seriously. I can't believe they made it, babe, holy smokes. <laughs> yeah, if they made it and we don't, I will be... Oh, babe, I'm such a pro. <laughs> I know. We're so good. I know, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, that would be super embarrassing. It I wouldn't be, be so posting funny. the video. <laughs> I, I, God, oh, I'm so impressed with them. That is so cool. That is so cool. Hopefully, there's someone that watches this channel. So, like, if they're watching this video, they'll be like, hey, that was us. 
So this is Moonloaf, guys. It's this beautiful stretch up here, just wilderness at the top of the mountain. Just awesome, awesome little drive. And again, when there's a bunch of people in town, it can take you an hour and a half just to get from one side of town to the other and more. And this old this cuts everything off. And it looks like they've done a pretty good job, like flattening the road a little bit more because this road gets really, really giant potholes. It gets really bad. It gets really, really bad. I can already feel it getting warmer. And the temperature went went down one degree. Did it? Yep. I guess it's because we're in the direct sunlight. I feel that way. That's exactly it, my love. But because of the elevation that we have climbed, the temperature got cool, cooler. So we're at 25 degrees, 11, 13 a.m. I can't believe this dude made it. I mean, <laughs> that is so awesome. If we can catch up to them, I'm just gonna tell them, dude, that's insanely good driving. I'm so proud. Because people like that need props because they deserve it. Just don't ever do it again. I mean, they, they flew through here. So guys, Moonloaf is in great shape. I've never seen it in this good of shape. Honestly, the whole time that I've lived here, I've never seen Moonloaf in this great of shape. I know we're bouncing around and stuff, but that's 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 Moonloaf. We're off-roading right now. But they must have brought some sort of like a like a tractor or, or, or big plow in here to kind of try to flatten it out a little bit, fill in some of the deep, deep rivets and potholes. How's your neck feeling, honey? I'm sorry, babe. I knew it was gonna hurt. I knew it was. That's why I, 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 I didn't want. I didn't want to have to take this when, when you reminded me about that. Cause guys, it's been a year, so it, I, well, I wasn't being selfish. I just wasn't thinking about the whole neck thing. No, it's fine. Okay. All right. Now we're on a street called Cl uh, Klamath. We are out of Moonloaf. Why did it seem so short? It's it's very short like that. Now we're in Upper Moon Ridge, guys. We were just in Sugarloaf. Now we are in Upper Moon Ridge. How awesome is that, y'all? Now we got to worry about driving downhill here. <coughs> Once we get to where we need to start heading down from Upper Moon Ridge, I'm a little bit nervous about like these roads but we will figure it out as a matter of fact instead of turning left here like I always like to we're just gonna follow this track this emergency evacuation route all the way down babe we did it we did it we got it out of our system now I'll now I'll be doing it a lot more knowing that it's not in that bad of shape yeah, it looks a lot better. doesn't it look a ton like a ton better right yeah I mean, of course, it was still super bumpy, but not like it used to not be. Not at all, because like, before it was like a gaping like trench in the middle big of time. it. Yeah, yeah, big time, just like that. Look at these big, beautiful houses. Yeah, baby. Someday, I'll, I'll get us a house like this. Okay. I'd even be happy to live in that garage house. Man. I mean, you can buy us a house and you're welcome to live in the garage house. I'd Trust me, it. that's where I would be all the time. <laughs> in my man cave. Okay, well, obviously the roads are looking good right now, but that's because we're getting direct sunlight. Those roads where we start heading down the mountain, not a lot of direct sunlight. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm going to roll down these windows for a little bit to get some nice views from the sides. Here, let me turn this on for you, baby. You feel that? Okay. Beautiful. 
homes. So yeah, guys, this is a part of Upper Moon Ridge that we haven't really driven through much this season. So I'm really glad we're taking the opportunity to. Again, they get a lot more snow up here. This is the snowiest part of the entire valley um, because of its elevation. And again, the snowiest part technically is over at near the Big Bear Dam for the valley floor. That's the snowiest area. From the village to the Big Bear Dam, that's where you'll, you'll get the most snow. So that's where you want to rent your hotels and stuff like that if you can find one there. Um, but also our Airbnb that we are giving away, that is in a really good part of, of Moon Ridge that gets a lot of snow too, right next to Bear Mountain. So you guys will be happy, very happy. Can't wait to do that giveaway or to tell you guys who won. I'm, I'm very excited. And, and also don't forget about Ski Warrior Goggles. I'll put that link there also. If you click the link and use that that discount code that I gave you, you'll save a good amount of money on the best goggles I've ever seen. These things are just insane. I never thought there was something like that out there, but they're pushed to talk and um, you can make phone calls and uh, walkie talkie feature. It's got like a two, two mile radius for all your other friends that that have similar technology. It, it doesn't have to be ski warrior goggles. Someone else can be wearing something else. You'll, you'll be able to communicate with them just with the touch of a button on your wrist. It's just, they're insane and it shows you the weather. All right guys, so here we go. We're taking Wolf now and behind these houses is Bear Mountain. You're not gonna be able to really see it too much, but oh, look at how beautiful. Oh, I'd love to live in one of these houses to wake up to that view every day in the winter time. I love the burning fire smell. When the dogs come in, sometimes they smell like the burning fires that come from the When you pointed that out, I started noticing that. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Mountain doggies. Yep, yep. Oh, and also another company that we're working with is Tough Shed. So if you click on the link for Tough Shed, um, make sure you ask for Roberto Vasquez. He is the one who you want to go through at Tough Shed Riverside. And he'll probably take care of you pretty good, guys. He's a really neat guy. And uh, I'm super excited to partner up with them as well. So yeah, we've, 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 we've got some good affiliates right now and I've, I've denied literally guys like 45 other companies because of, they were great products, but not stuff that was something I'd, I'd be proud to, uh, to represent and, and, more importantly, remember to represent. All right, here we go. We're about to start heading down. Get in your lane, you Domino's driver. My wife's cousin was the owner of this Domino's up here for many, many years. And I used to work for him as a delivery driver there. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. I worked for him for, what, like two and a half years? Yep. And then I started doing housekeeping, which I love way more. I don't have to stand up. She works for herself, her. too, which yeah. just makes me so proud of my wife. All the business she has, she has gone out there, beat, beat the pavement, and... Uh, she runs a pretty great little business. I'm very, very proud of you, baby. Thank you. Yeah, that's not easy. That is not easy. Especially what you do. I don't think that that's easy work. My wife can do five or six, maybe even seven houses in a day. And I mean perfectly. Like, she is so good at what she does. It just blows my mind. 
I'm exhausted by the end of the day though. Usually if I do that many houses, I need about two days to recover. <laughs> okay, here's someone else but backing up in the middle of the road. My average is two to three houses a day all the time and it's not bad. It's pretty easy stuff. So like, uh, yeah. Back in. they're backing up. Because they can't make it up the hill. That's what I'm assuming. But like, once Sorry. again, stop, stop in, in, in the middle of the road on an upslope. So when the car is coming down, if they start sliding at all, there's nothing they can do. Thankfully, we have this dash cam because it'll save a lot of uh, insurance money if something like that does happen. So we're going to stop up here while these cars are uh, parked right down here. So we don't slide slide into them. But yeah, guys, it's, it's not going to be easy to get up and down, especially in this part of in this neck of the woods in yeah, Moonridge. Yeah, this is Butte, and this is... Yep. If, I don't want to say don't rent, but if there is an Airbnb and it's renting on Butte, more than likely you're going to want to rethink it unless you have uh, all-wheel drive because this is a very, very popular area where people are sliding into each other uncontrollably. So if you guys want to be in the snowiest part of town, rent here. Yeah. Just, Just... Just make sure you, you, you have the right equipment when you're yeah. driving up here. Yeah, that's, uh-huh. But yeah, I, you got, and then th these guys are going down a scary part. We're not going to go down there. That's really steep. Even there. though we could easily make it. But yeah, the cars always crash right there as well. So we're going to take the easier route. But yeah, make sure if you don't have all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive with snow tires make sure you have your tire chains guys i'm telling you as much of a pain in the butt as it is your safety is so crucial your safety is so crucial so anyway we're going to get back to the rest of the video i will talk to you guys soon we just did moon loaf and upper moon ridge all right you guys so here we go this is the aftermath january 7 2024 for last night's overnight snowstorm, which was a howler. It was so windy. It was so windy. I, I was gonna go out and do this at about six or 6.30, but I knew the roads were still gonna be frozen at 9.30 and thought it'd be nicer with the bright sun and clear skies. I think I made the right decision. So anyway, we're gonna go pick up Rachel real quick. She wants to cruise with us. She is actually at the donut shop. She's gonna leave her car there and then I'm gonna drop her back off once we're done. And don't forget, guys, we are doing an Airbnb giveaway. So just uh, check the comment section of my most recent videos and today's videos. It'll show you um, how to uh, get your free Airbnb. You just got to click my, my Instagram link, follow me there, and the rest of the instructions are on my Instagram page. As soon as you click it, you'll see it. Second place prize is one of our super, super nice expensive hoodies and the third place is 50 bucks cash which is which is absolutely awesome you guys these investments to give back to you guys are the like it feels so good it feels so good you don't have to have a lot of money to find ways to make things happen you really don't so thank you guys for everything you do for me i appreciate it so much and don't forget, if you want your skis and snowboards waxed for free, go to Get Boards on the Boulevard. They have a couple different shops there. Our most reliable source of ski and snowboard rentals. And uh, yeah, if you mention my name and the channel, then they will hook you up with a free waxing. And worst case, if one of the employees doesn't know about it, which they, I know they all do, ask for the owner, Tony, because I don't want you guys to ever leave there empty-handed in case there's a misunderstanding about anything. And uh, also we've got a deal with Tough Shed as well. Tough Shed Riverside. So give Tough Shed a buzz. If you guys need a Tough Shed, speak with Roberto Vasquez. And all the information's there also. So once again, R Roberto Vasquez. And uh, he's, he'll probably take care of you guys pretty good. Don't forget to mention I sent you 
and then Ski Warrior goggles for your guys' push to talk, Bluetooth, most amazing, most amazing goggles. Um, these things have a range of like two miles. Have a range of like two miles, so you can chat with 20 plus people on the mountain um, at the same time. It's just an awesome thing. It tells you what the weather's like. It's 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 they're pretty amazing, huh, babe? Yeah. The uh, ski warrior goggles. We are planning to hopefully go skiing next week, so we are going to use those and test them out. And yeah. So I'm going to be flying 50 feet ahead of Nick, so he's going to have to contact me on my goggles. That's right, babe. <laughs> so um. Hello, everybody. By the way. <laughs> hey, I babe. I just came from OJ's Donuts. I'm eating one of my favorite breakfasts items uh raspberry pie. all right man <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna be flying 50 feet ahead of nick and definitely gonna have to use those goggles to contact me yeah because she's gonna be being pulled by the uh, ski patrol because <laughs> she's gonna be eating it so hard she's, she's gonna need emergency assistance so yeah <laughs> ski patrol does go a lot faster than me because they're a lot better than me but yeah <laughs> So, He's going to be so impressed with my skiing so, skills. A week from this Tuesday is when we're going to meet up with, with Ray, one of my best friends up here. I, I love him so much. Uh, and we're going to go skiing together. And then I think... That's awesome. I love Ray. He knows. He's very um, knowledgeable of, of everything about up everything here. up here. Yeah. And so it's a great person. Because I'm going to be honest, I haven't been skiing since I was like 15. But I'm sure it's like riding a bike or skating, you know? It I can still skate bit. backwards at my age. It is a little bit. Wow, babe. That's awesome. And spin. She can skate backwards. That's fan babe. And spin. And spin. Uh -huh. And spin. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> I'll have to show you guys. Look out, everyone. Here comes I'll Rachel. Have to show you guys <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Rachel. <laughs> she's, she's skiing, sledding backwards. <laughs> sledding backwards. <laughs> skating. Skating, not yes. So um, next week, or this week, um, I might take a, a quick hour lap up there real quick just to get some footage for you guys yeah and if we can get at this point if i were you i'd be waking up every morning super early to go well i mean they open at like nine or something so i can't get up that That's early, super early for you. that is super early for me <laughs> but my work doesn't start till 10 a.m so i'm up at you know once i get my <laughs> once i get my first phone call for my job um, I, uh, that's when I start work, but usually my hours of operation are 10 a.m. till about 10 p.m. Right, babe? Something like that? I say it's a 24-hour operation. Yeah, totally. Totally. He has two different jobs, so he's doing different stuff at different times of the day. But I'm doing something all the time. But always. Like comments and, like, always, yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's, not, it's an awful lot. All right, guys, so we're stuck in this traffic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the side streets to get to the other side of town. And what I mean by the side streets here is since there's no one right here, I'm just going to make a U-turn. We're going to head back to Fox Farm Road and, and take that. I go with the dogs in the morning to the dog park. Oh, that's cool, babe. That's the route we're about to take. The dog park over by by the lake? Yeah, the Park Street. Yeah, oh, okay, cool, yeah. Yep, Park well, I take them to several, but the only one that I don't, well, there's not several, I take them to a few. Um, the only one I don't take them to is over by the Veterans Park because I don't see it. It says dog park there, but I don't see any gated areas for you to pick your dog, so. I think it's just a dog park because they supply the little bags to pick up your dog poop. Okay. Or maybe it's called like Dogwood Park and it's not really a dog park. That 
<laughs> is, that, is that it? I have no idea. I have no idea. That sounds right. <laughs> My dad lived on Dogwood Point in Eatonton, Georgia. Right on the way. Okay. I, I wish you could have, you know, visited him out there with me. Cute little house right on the lake. Uh, gosh, Lake Sinclair. So beautiful. So beautiful. In the wintertime, it would get, like, pretty cold. Oh, you're making this turn? No. Oh. So, what my friend Matt told me yesterday, my good friend, he's, uh, he's stoked because he owns a house right, like, on the lift at Bear Mountain, on, like, right off of Chair 9. The guy's just stoked, but, uh, it's a vacation home for him, too. And he's a young guy, like, <laughs> like, but he was telling me with the traffic people, he just pretends like he doesn't see them and just keeps going. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, no way, bro. And the, you know, it, it, we, we locals, like, obviously I'm doing stuff that is, is not necessary, but when he's going home, he has to drive right by Bear Mountain every time. And so there's a ton of people trying to dictate traffic and uh, and th and they don't want anybody driving in the neighborhoods just to uh, give a little more respect to the people who live here. But he just he just acts like he doesn't see them and just keeps on driving straight right to his house. Oh, but he's gonna run somebody over. Well, no, he's 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 avoiding their signs like. Uh, like when they're saying turn right no turn right turn right he's like huh what huh just go straight <laughs> but it's because he lives there i the other day experienced off of brownie and summit there's like a bunch of guys there that are directing traffic how dare they two different guys are telling me to go two different directions and i'm like do they even know what they're doing to me right now because my the way my brain works i was like <laughs> <laughs> Where do I go? It was really bad. Yeah, yeah. The, you know what? I tend to give most of these employees passes when they're in stressed situations like that because uh, I remember what it was like when I worked at Bear Mountain, and yeah. um, you know, it's 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 tough. It's it's really tough and because a lot of people get super frustrated up here. It's well, like they're not. That's not what they're there for. They're there to direct traffic. They're not there to answer your vacation questions. But they absolutely will, so don't hesitate to ask. Yeah, they will. It's just going to hold up all, all, all the traffic back of you. But basically, every single car asks, and I understand why. I, I totally understand why. And most of the time, when I'm driving past them, they'll stop me to tell me something um, about like where I'm supposed to go or this and that. So. Yeah. Unlike my friend Matt, do not keep on driving. Make, make, sure, <laughs> make sure you listen to what they say. <laughs> and Matt's got this, uh, or had this big, big truck, and so just kind of intimidating. So we're on Park Avenue. This is where her dog park is. And this is where one of my favorite areas is. This park basically sits right on the lake. I don't know if you can see that little blue patch in center field there. Temperature jumped up to 23 degrees, so that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's such a There's beautiful, the such a beautiful park and recreation lake. is here too, but what is the name of this park again? We come here all the time. Yeah. I always forget, but there's probably a sign right there too. Oh, Ski Beach Park. Well, that that little park, but that park, that's Ski Beach, and then this is another, another completely different park. That's true. I mean, they're connected, of course, but... Oh, yeah. When I have my own 
kids, I can promise you one thing. And I say this now, but I probably won't be able to maintain it. But I say this now. They're, they, they are not getting any type of a, a smartphone or tablet or anything like that. <laughs> not until they're maybe 12 or 13 at the very earliest. If they need to make a phone call, they're going to have like, like, uh, um, like, one of those alert systems so <laughs> a life alert just like my grandpa had so all they do is push one button and it'll call me so that, oh. they do have those yes and i think that would be best of course i don't want my kid to be made fun of and everyone's like you're so dumb because you don't have a phone or you have a life alert <laughs> yeah, yeah totally you to can you imagine how much they'd be made fun of for that but yeah you, later on in life they'll thank me maybe I never thought I would be ever at the age or where I, I would say I, the kids of today are uh, skateboarding on the sidewalks, uh, playing their music too loud. I never thought I would ever turn into that. But I mean, kids today are crazy. They're, it's just like, you guys my age remember when we were young, like everyone was outside either playing sports or riding their bikes throwing the football back and forth um you know playing street hockey like just just you know just outside enjoying life well being up here in big bear, big bear i see that a lot more um than i do when i'm down i kind of do also when i'm at my mom's like i definitely see kids like just doing all kinds of activities out playing basketball if we just passed the skate park they they're always at the skate park always at the skate park um, and that's so something i can relate to they're definitely more outdoorsy kids out up here in big bear yeah not so much the pansy variety up here these are tough kids as a youngster i used to uh worry about playing these teams because i'm from oh, i'm from newport beach and uh we had uh obviously a lot of you know sports teams play each other in Southern California and we would always be a little hesitant to play the Big Bear and the Lake Arrowhead kids even though there's not many in Lake Arrowhead but uh, I mean these these kids are tough these kids up here are really tough you know just uh, I don't know it's like that mountain man mentality up here it really is like I've seen really young kids waiting at the bus stop early in the morning that's not something that you really see even down the mountain it's like the parents just take them to school I mean some kids yeah. take the bus but out here they're like in 20 degree weather waiting for the bus to come and I mean down, down 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 the mountain these days it's like you know you, you if your kid walks to the bus stop you never know if they're gonna come back you know <laughs> it's true not get up. maybe not in my neck of the woods like in the Newport Beach area but Know, lots of other places it's just it can be pretty pretty scary mm -hmm. that is true I mean I remember being like second and third grade of course I was with my brothers they were only third and fourth grade as well but we don't walk to school together her brothers probably in third and fourth grade could have beat up big adults because they're big dudes <laughs> they are really big dudes. that's true too they were big guys yeah <laughs> like my brother how big is Lawrence right now you think uh he's pretty big I mean he is I don't want to make that guy mad he, he's my brother-in-law but he'd smash me like the Hulk would, I mean, would smash an ant let's just put it this way if you shake his hand it's like your hand becomes really tiny it's like you never realize how tiny your hand yeah were. and even <laughs> even even my even my stepson the kid's a giant like yeah, uh yes. so that makes me happy because whatever kids we have maybe they won't be a midget like me maybe they'll actually oh, no. be i didn't think of that <laughs> we might have midget kids, guys. oh wait hey i'm not supposed to say that word <laughs> i apologize you guys oh what are you supposed to say little people i don't think that there's no a... babe babe don't argue this point with please because how do you know I, because i i i follow the pc culture and where they're going and I don't mean anything by saying the M word. I don't mean anything bad at all. So if I offended anyone, I do apologize. That was not my intention. I know we are very soft these days, so we can't say things even if we don't mean any harm. So do want to apologize about that. Um, 
yeah i've mm. i've always you know since i've known rachel and known that we were going to get married and try and have kids i was always stoked that you know that i could actually have normal sized children instead of as i said little people like myself <laughs> It'd be great. It'd be great to have, you know, like a six foot two son. I'll live vicariously through him. <clears throat> or you could just get those like shoe inserts that make you just slightly taller. Babe, back in my punk rock days, I had the sickest platform shoes. <laughs> they were, oh but I didn't get them to be taller. I just got them because they were awesome. They were leopard print. They were, oh. so those of you who live in Huntington Beach, I'd, I'd get most of my punk stuff from, um, what? Just pop your tires. Oh, okay. I get most of my punk stuff from the electric chair on Main Street. One of my favorite shops. And funny enough, my older brother, uh, his like first girlfriend is, uh, was one of the people who started that place and I didn't know until maybe in my 20s and my older brother is 11 years older than me so I was really really young but uh yeah so I always found that to be a pretty cool connection yeah the electric chair just super punk rock I miss those days going to shows all the time and playing in bands all the time it was good times. Again, just like an older person would say, like, our music was great, but the kids of today, <laughs> it's like, seriously, like, like I was in my mid twenties once I got a vehicle that had a system. Then I started listening to hip hop and I I fell in love because it, it just, it just felt so good with that bass just hammering you just, oh, it, it was just so awesome. But like, that was real real hip-hop back then like all the stuff from the 80s 90s and very early 2000s and then all of a sudden it, 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 it like turned into this monotone like there's varieties of hip-hop there's a lot of hip-hop there's i love hip-hop i still yeah. love today's music and all the new stuff that comes out i still listen to a lot of the like new upcoming rappers and just i love music in general though just yeah. in general i love music i don't listen to all music too much of the new and upcomers because it, it's just all you know I guess a lot of people could say that the old rap sounded very similar also but I think it was a lot more talent based they had a, a lot better things to rap about um, about their actual tough situations and um, what they go through all the time now it's just really like even worse influences on kids and stuff like that it's, it's just horrible but yet they get a pass in the media with everything, all the negativity that they spew and all the horrible stuff they say about women, you know, but they get a pass. It's hilarious to me. The double standard is incredible. But anyway, right now Following we're, we're, at we're the on Big Bear Boulevard. We're going to be going up to the dam, coming back around um, to... Uh, drive through fawn skin going this way though the reason we're going this way you guys is to avoid the traffic coming into town um, even though we got a little traffic on the way out it's not really traffic it's just slower cars because they're worried about driving on all this ice and I don't blame them I want all of you to be safe as I've always told you guys I know a lot of you are probably like me who want to appease everybody and not be that guy who holds up the line right the biggest mistake you can make on on these roads in these conditions is if you have someone on your tail never ever ever speed up just to like just to appease them that's the most dangerous thing you can do you do not want to do that any chance you get any safe chance you get pull out and let everybody pass i don't care if it's 20 different people don't feel bad don't feel embarrassed about it because you know what, I want you guys to stay safe. Let these crazy people get into their own issues. Um, obviously we don't want any, anyone to have any issues, but I'd rather it be them than you guys. So just, as I said, don't, don't hesitate to 
to pull over. I know down the mountain, it's always a race, um, you know, like uh, no one ever lets you in their lane and this and that. I got a trick for that too. So let's say there's three lanes, right? Like going one direction, three lanes. If you're in the middle lane, if you wanna get over to the right lane, what you do is turn on your left blinker and the car in the right lane is not gonna speed up and then you just boop, pull over to the right lane. It works every time. Try it, you guys. I promise you, you will be amazed. But yeah, up here, guys, please put your safety first. You guys are super important to me. I don't wanna hear about anything bad happening to you guys. The worst worst call I ever got from uh, was from one of your uh, one of our friends here on this channel. A family member sent me a message that they were on the little Arctic Circle and a big rock came down and crushed the whole passenger side of the car. And thankfully, there was no one else in the car but this person's brother or sister, and they were driving, obviously. So. Dangerous things can happen up here, you guys. You just gotta be extra, extra cautious. Once again, I can't stress it enough. You guys are so important to me. You guys have given me hope. You guys have given me purpose and made me feel good about what I do when I'm thinking all, all that's gonna happen is I'll be made, you know, made fun of this whole time for just driving around and, and like ooh la la about the snow all the time, you know? So put your safety first. I'm always here for you guys if you have any questions about you know, getting up here. I will always help you guys out. I am trying to find someone to do a snow chain video for us. To uh, do it absolutely perfectly by the book. Um, Cause you can, you know. You, you can, should do one with me doing it. I know how to put my snow chains on. Okay. That's that not a bad idea. Fun. I can show you guys how I do mine every year. Every, well, the past two years, I should say, because the first couple years I was here, I didn't use them. But last year I used them and the year before. And I put them on myself. Yes, she did. And I went all the way down the mountain. Yes, she did. They're very easy. I mean, it's, it's, I, yeah. It, I, I don't know about that. I mean, if it's like 70 degrees outside, yeah, they're super easy. But when you have oh. to be out in the cold temps and 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 on your hands and knees so true. in the ice and snow, it's it's not easy. Your fingers are frozen. Yeah, it's definitely not easy, guys. So don't. I mean, once you get used to it, you'll be able to whip them on real quick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe we'll have Rachel do it for you. Um, because I have a lot of confidence that she will do it absolutely right. And she's also like a handyman ar around our house too, which is just awesome too. I am too. a handyman. Growing up, we, my mom was into real estate, but she was not like a real estate agent. She would buy and then um, Turn. renovate yeah. and then and resell. But she didn't resell right away. It was like for a long time we had an apartment complex. So we'd go over there and it was a lot of the work was just done by us. So I know a little bit of everything, a little bit of plumbing, a little bit of electric. I know how to light the pilot, just little stuff, you know, use a, I know how to use a drill. Pretty simple stuff, a hammer. <laughs> I know the name of different tools. <laughs> All right, babe. <laughs> so the one of you still left watching. <laughs> Since I was running my mouth this, well, I'm always running my mouth, guys, right? The whole entire time for the most part. I never, I never zip it. Which is really weird to me because when I'm not with you guys, or responding to comments, I'm not like talkative all the time. But when I'm making these these videos, wow, that's beautiful over there. When I'm making these videos, I seem to talk a lot. Okay, so it's 24 degrees. 
we are over here almost to the Big Bear Dam. It is such a beautiful day. I'm telling you guys, even with not that much snow, when the roads are, are white like this and iced over, it is just so beautiful. I find it to be absolutely gorgeous. And I have a feeling if we're lucky, even though the sun's popping up pretty good right now, if we're lucky, it, it'll be maybe seven or eight degrees colder in Baldwin. So I'm hoping we'll hit, hit the teens out there. Hit the teens, babe. And this morning I woke up to a hundred dollar donation. So I, as soon as I get home and start uploading this, I'll make that, that video. Guys, seriously, like incredible incredible I, I i just oops 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 tap the brakes tap the brakes very very lightly yeah this is, thank goodness we're almost here to the to the dam i am looking forward to this next week up here because it's going to be a lot quieter because the holidays are over and so i'm assuming this was probably the last week of vacation from schools and stuff and so town's gonna be a little a, a little quieter I like the differences that we get where we're absolutely slammed with a with a bunch of super excited people and then at times when I can drive all of Big Bear Boulevard at like nine at night and pass maybe one car I like those times too and I am I am looking forward to the ladder for a couple days because especially when we get snowstorms, guys, when there's no one up here, it's just it's it's so much easier for me. I don't have to worry about safety as much. Um, what I worry about in these conditions is uh, the fact that I don't need to be out driving, so I'm just another hazard out here, an unnecessary hazard, and I don't want to cause that purple suit cause any problems. That is a purple sea I want something like that. Baby, you would look so good in that. I need that. You outfit. would look so Can good we in go that. Ask her how much she would sell it to us for. <laughs> uh, no. No, we, we definitely can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but when we go to get boards, maybe our friend Tony will hook you up with a little bit of a discount. I doubt they have anything that looks like that there. You never know. That's true. You never know. I saw some really cute BB Peep bibs that I thought. Ski bibs? Mm hmm No, baby bibs for myself when I eat. Uh, well, I, you already have a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So I think they have chain controls to head down the mountain maybe because that's what everyone stopped there for past the stoplight. I don't know if you guys can see. For us, because we have all-wheel drive and snow-specific tires, they're just snow tires. They're, they aren't winter tires, because they'll make you put on chains if you have winter tires. You need snow tires. And I've got snow tires. But we're not going that far. As soon as we get to this light, we're gonna hang a Roscoe and uh, start heading back the other direction. I'm really worried about rolling down this window right now because I don't want it to pop. It didn't pop. Hey, good. Just so when we're driving along the lake, I can roll it down a little bit and get us some really nice views, guys. And I'll make sure I have the heat on for my baby so she doesn't freeze because it is really cold outside. It's 24 degrees. Looky here, looky here, looky here. 24, 300 miles till empty and 10.07 in the morning. Everybody driving down. I hope you guys get down safe and sound. I hope you enjoyed your stay in beautiful Big Bear Lake and get your butts back here soon. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful out here. So you guys see all the snow over here. It's not that much, but wait till we get to Baldwin and I'll bet there's just like, like a frost looking amount of snow, not much. 
big bear snow rule is is really obvious when we have real big snowstorms i mean really obvious over here it's like like walls up five or six feet high then you'll get out to um, baldwin and the snow plow walls are like six inches it's just crazy and it's only an eight mile difference from one end to the complete opposite eight miles which is not much at all Checking into the hotel tomorrow? Yeah, but I can do all my houses before three tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I can start super as early as I want. Okay. So I can get up like how early. And then I'm going down the mountain early too. I don't know how early, but. Oh I'm, yeah, see. I'm hoping it's early because I yeah. have to. I, I have to go down when. And I'll probably. When do when my friend can. One of them tonight or later today, but I need to get that chicken cook up because our chickens. I can't believe they made it last night. I'm so happy. One of them is being super territorial. We only have two, um, but she does not want the other chicken in the coop for some reason. And now, the one that we do have that's kicked out of the coop, she's hiding underneath tarps on the side of our house. So I need to get her chicken coop put up before another snow hits. All right. Because it's going to snow again. So guys, this time lapse that I have have going, um, again, not that much snow, but enough to make it cool, but it's the wind that I'm really, really interested in seeing. I've got a, a device right outside of the camera. It's this little guy sawing logs, and it's like a little windmill. And it was spinning so fast last night I haven't seen it like that all season long, so I'm excited to see that on the time lapse. Hopefully you guys enjoy this time lapse. It'll be up uh, tomorrow. Isn't that gorgeous, babe? I wish the darn window wasn't so... Hold on a second, just for two seconds. So they can, oh my gosh, it's so clear and so beautiful, babe. I know you're free too. If you weren't with me, I'd, I'd have that down the whole time. Just... Okay, babe. You let me know if you get cold, if, if you get really cold, okay, baby? Yeah. Okay. I, I won't put it down all the way. Just enough. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the snowmakers up, up off of Bear. See them? It looks like smoke, right? sure it's not going to happen but if we have a chance to get to zero or below zero again it's most likely not not going to happen um, but if I think it could we're going to go driving and doing a, a, a below zero hunt and worst case we'll have to drive up to Onyx Summit to try to catch the below zero temperatures in the car because that's a that's something that that doesn't happen that often up here last year i think we we got down to zero once and the coldest i've seen here and and recorded was like i think minus 12 in baldwin lake it was so so cold <laughs> i mean that's just that's that's painful when you go outside i would love to get some of that though Okay, there's no one behind us. I love showing you guys this this dude's house up here on the corner. It's like a greenish blue house, mostly green, but this this guy's got the best view that you could maybe have in this whole entire town. This house right here. And it's just a big beautiful house. 
look at what this what these folks get to wake up to every single morning there's no one behind us so i'm not holding up traffic but look at that this is what they wake up to looking out like they've got like a three quarters of a 360 degree view guys like they can see all the way to the dam on their right side of the house they can see all the way to baldwin lake from the center and then they can see all the way over here to fonsi and on the left side of their house their house wraps around the lake right there it's just insane i heard through the grapevine babe that that's an airbnb actually if it was would you like to stay there sometime yeah yeah absolutely absolutely Driving through the eagle's habitat, you guys, Jackie and Shadow, our little, our little famous eagles up here. Rachel actually pointed out to me I had never seen a single bald eagle up here, and when we were on on Stanfield Cutoff, she pointed out that there's like a bunch of them right down there on the lake, drinking or doing something, and I couldn't believe it because it was a bunch of bald eagles. I always find it funny because for some reason everybody in town thinks we have like two or four, but if you go to that Stanfield cutoff at a, just the right time in the morning, you will see them drinking out of the lake and there's a bunch of them. I mean, yeah. ton, like, well, I think we saw about six of them. Yeah, but still that's a ton compared to all the eagles I saw prior, which was none. And compared to what people in town say, which is we only have Jackie and Shadow. Right? Do they say that? I feel like they do, but maybe... I'm well, wrong. those are the two that they always talk about. Because those are the... Well, remember when we went on the tour, the guy said we had like four. I don't even remember what he said, but he gave an amount of bald eagles that we had here. I remember him giving the amount of bears that we have, which was about three or four hundred. Okay, no, no one back of us, guys. This is uh, Grout Creek Tributary. It's one of our, our biggest watersheds into the lake from all the snow melt in these hillsides of Fonskin over here. Actually, you know what? I think I have heard some people say that uh, we are very minimal with the eagles over here. But as you pointed out to me, I, I mean, there's got to be quite a few if, if we saw six or seven all at once. When I first moved here, I never knew that we had bald eagles up here. I didn't know we had the... Um, the bobcats. Yeah, the bobcats. I didn't know we had those. Crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. and, and they look like just house cats. Obviously, you know, with puffy tails and uh, a little bit thicker. But yeah. We do have bobcats up here. As a matter of fact, I think we we had one about a month ago, right, babe? That's what you said. Yeah. It looked like he says it like looked like a little house cat, but but I don't. It had I've all the all the proper markings and stuff. Life. Like I don't. Besides at the zoo, I don't think I've seen one in the wild walking around ever. It was definitely a bobcat. I just. It was hard to. To believe at first because I didn't think I'd get lucky enough it's, especially after just a couple months prior I saw my first bear up here and it, and it was in our yard if you guys want to see that there's a video on on the channel I, I recorded this monster bear so cute the bear was so darn oh cute oh my gosh he was big right <laughs> that was a big bear we have it on the channel if you guys want to go back and check it out oh sorry I was reading, um, I was reading texts for work <laughs> and listening at the same time, but I'm not good at Welcome texting. to my world, right, babe? Constantly <laughs> texting, and, yeah. Reading yeah. work texts, but yes, we have it on the channel. It's a really big bear. I couldn't even believe that it was in the area of our, of where we live. Like, what's even there for him to be curious about? Well, he did grab the trash bags from the dumpster. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then he had um, two coyotes following him. Two just, coyote Just friends. chilling with him. Yep. Yep. 
like they knew he was, you know, the person that gets, or the animal that gets the trash out and then they get to eat. That's exactly after right. Him. That's precisely <laughs> right, baby. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool nature. It's one of the many reasons I love living up here is because we get to see so much of that nature. Look at those ducks in the water. Aren't they cold? Their feet must be freezing. Uh, maybe. Probably not though. They're probably good. At Jonathan's house, my uh, contractor friend. Um, guys, this is the most reliable, trustworthy guy ever. Uh, he, uh, he just got a place right on the lake next to Lagunita Lodge. And when I, I went over there yesterday, there were about 30 ducks just hanging out on his back patio. Because from the street you can you can you, you you can see it. You just look down the driveway. It was just the coolest thing ever. And he buys really expensive duck feed and uh, feeds them there. Seriously, it's just so beautiful out here. I'd love to live in one of these houses right here too, babe. It's just, you know, for my work, it's just tough because it's it's so far away and I do a lot of driving for my work and not nearly as much over here as I do in Big Bear Lake and, and Big Bear City. They got some really, really nice spots here, huh, baby? wiper fluid isn't frozen. That's frustrating because I told him to put the zero degree stuff in and he said he did. Clearly well, it could be the little holes have water in them. Oh yeah, that's 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 a good point. Well then I'll, I'll keep on just squeezing it to open them up. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> So we're on North Shore, Highway 38. We just left Fonskin. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going to show you how to put your chains on. Yes, while sliding around, which is just, that's why it's just not easy to put on your tire chains. But yeah, I'm I'm stoked to, uh, to let Rachel show you guys. Are you really? Yeah. Hmm. You just need to articulate it as well as you can, baby. Because I, because uh, I know you'll throw them on in two seconds. Because I, I saw you in the deep snow too. I have no idea how to put on tire chains, guys. Or, or, or I would set up a stand and do it. So I'm going to be learning with you guys from my beautiful wife. Well, like I said, guys, it's it's not. Oh, look, they wrote a little love note to them on uh -huh. the snow. It's not as hard, but like Nick says, in the snow, it does become a little bit of a challenge because your fingers are frozen, so. Yes, and it's tough to wear gloves doing it. Because yeah, you can't you, wear gloves, yeah. there's no way. Um, but, know, I, mean, I mean, you could, but you can. it would be a struggle. Yes. It would be a pain in, oh, I don't want you to break, break your brand new nails. Thanks, baby. Look at my baby's nails. She just went down. She drives all the way down the mountain to go get her nails done. I went to Smiley Nails. Smiley Nails? And I had them done by Eric. That's Smiley Nails. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, babe. Very nice. They're very nice people there. That's uh, where I went and got my nails done when we got married. Is that so, the same place, babe? Yeah, same place. They were very happy to see me. It's amazing how when you go to get your nails done and you are a return customer, they always remember you. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. And I haven't been there in a year and a half and they remembered me. Or did, are you, or were they just like, hey, how are you? How are you been? Or, or 
do you think they really remember him? No, they him? literally said, welcome back. And then well, I yeah. said, oh, you remember me? <laughs> and then they yeah. said, yeah, yeah. And then I said, oh, what, what, I came to get my nails done when I got married. And they said, yeah. Babe, you're so cute. I remember. You're so cute. So you think they're lying to I me? think they're totally lying to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Darn it. He got an extra 10 for me for that. <laughs> That's why they do it. <laughs> Baby, and then I showed them you are so pictures. cute and so innocent. It, it's just the most adorable thing. It is. It is. You but are they such were an so angel. Nice to me. They were really nice to me. They treated me like a princess. And my feet looked like this when I came in. <laughs> and he even looked at the other guy like this. Yeah. And yeah. I said, make him pretty again. And he goes, okay. It's like, that's impossible. <laughs> they were awful. Are tired. you Jackie or Shadow? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now we we give this guy the old salute. Not what you guys think with my, <laughs> with my uh, hazards to say thank you for pulling aside because there's a line of traffic behind us now because that guy wanted to okay right here I, I've seen a lot of cars go off this edge this is oh, a no very way. oh yeah babe right there a lot yep not seen it but as I'm driving by I see cars down there and I've stopped quite a few times just to, like I'd pull off right over here and walk all the way back up there just to make sure no one's in the car because uh you, you never know. Yeah, guys, it can get extremely dangerous here. Like, it's extremely dangerous. This is one of my favorite views right Look here. Look at the uh, snow. That's so snow cool. Snow blowers, it looks like. That is so cool. That's exactly what it is. That is so cool. Oh, man. Guys, that's... I mean, that's... <laughs> that's it right there. That is it. That view right there. That is it. Really good. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad you're excited. I'm so excited. As a matter of fact, I need to send Tony a text. And believe me, guys, it has changed for me because when I first got here, I was not so excited. The snow was overwhelming. The just daily activity was overwhelming. But now that I've been here quite a few years, I, I don't know if I'm getting used to it or if I'm just embracing it, but I am loving it this year. Putting on my snow boots and getting ready to go skiing. It's just so beautiful. Everything looks crispy and clean and clear. Gorgeous. Sounds good, man. So we're going to Long Beach. We're going to be there at 1.30 tomorrow then. I am excited. All right, guys. Forgive me about that. I had to take a quick little phone call. So we are about to enter Big Bear City from the North Shore. I still think every time I say North Shore about big waves on Oahu, I'll tell you what, that's that's one place I miss living. I didn't live on Oahu, but I lived on the big island, the big island in Puako and Waikoloa Village and uh, yeah, that was it. Pool coal was great. It, it, it was right on the beach. Right near the beach. Right near the beach, boy. Let's <laughs> watch that movie tonight. Okay. That, before Nick and I met, that was like literally my favorite movie. I loved it so much I would reference it, reference through it throughout my day. And then when I met Nick and he told me that was his favorite movie, I just was blown away. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I could not believe it's it. It's a great, great movie. Half baked, you guys. One of my all time favorite favorite comedies, Half Baked. It's up there with Happy Gilmore and Caddyshack in my eyes. Great movie. I could recite the whole thing while we're watching it. Dave Chappelle is just a just a genius. Yeah, I love Dave Chappelle. Yeah, Dave's amazing.
guys. So the further we go this way, the less snow you're gonna see. And as, as you can see, it's pretty much just a dusting over here. on the car and ever since then my check engine light is on 90% of the time and I can't use my remote start and it says it's the O2 sensor I've paid him three different times within one year to replace the O2 sensor again and again and again because that's what the a reading is and then he just says well sorry um, I mean just you know again he's one of my best friends in the whole world I love him to death we ride Harleys together and he's like, I really, 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 really like him, but I just, I just can't afford it. Um, hello. Okay. So we're going to start taking the car somewhere else, but I'd like to take it back to the shop I used to go to in Laguna Niguel, but that's just way too far for like your basic services. Oops, ambulance. There's an amber lamps up here. Dude, I am so excited. You're allowed to get as many double doubles as you want. LOL. Well, as a matter of fact, bro, you can even get a shake if you want. All right? <laughs> LOL. I have a friend of mine doing me a big favor tomorrow, guys, and I'm extremely grateful for it. I'm wondering what, what happened up here. I hope everyone's okay, babe. I hope everyone's okay. I hope no one's in pain. Love his mustache. mustache. That was awesome. That was awesome. That that's a man. That was and a that, and to he's cheekbone. he's a man. <laughs> that's cheekbone to cheekbone. That looks like our our friend Brian's truck. But it doesn't look like Brian's standing out there. It looks like another. Yeah, Brian's six foot eight, so he's really tough to miss. Really tough to miss. And we gotta congratulate Brian because in his first year doing. Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, he won the state tournament. Well, I mean, with those long old legs, he's no, probably babe. kicking them from eight feet away. Well, Jiu Jitsu, there's no kicking or oh, striking. Oh. Yeah, it's it's just it's grappling, grappling submissions. Yes. Oh, okay. But yes, if it, 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 if that guy, because he's doing kickboxing also, if he becomes a great striker, no one's gonna have a chance because he'll be able to kick your head he's off your shoulders from a like mile a, away. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, guys, again, look at how little snow there is out here. The further we go this direction, the less snow we run into. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb now and say there's going to be half the spots we see in Baldwin are going to be nada. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now they should be taking They're their taking chains They're taking their chains off. off. No, that's what he was doing, I think. I mean, I, I I would sure hope so. Hey, that's a chopper. Get down. Get down. And then get in the chopper. <laughs> get down. <laughs> that's my best Arnold impression. Not too good, but hey, it works. Wow. You gotta do the wow. Wow. Wow, wow. wow. <laughs> oh, look at that person all the way out in the middle of the... Wow, wow, get down in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> He's way out there. He needs to get down. He's way out there. He needs to get down. 
Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I told you guys this, this little lake would be frozen after this weekend, and it is frozen. For those of you who are adventure seekers, please, please do not make an attempt to walk out there. There is a fence, because that's our water treatment facility over there, but please, guys, even our regular lake, when you see ice on the lake and it's 15 degrees outside, it's still extraordinarily dangerous. They have the weakest fine. If they had like a $5,000 fine, less people would try, but people perish, guys, yeah. from doing that up here. And again, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. This whole white area is is a lake when we get enough pre uh, precipitation, especially this part. Oh yeah, so that is Baldwin Lake, you guys, and it's it's it is it, it's pretty special when there's water in it. All these properties of out out here, which for this area are fairly inexpensive because it's so far away from everything these properties become lakefront and these properties have lakefront uh type of frontage for gosh most of the year right babe yeah yeah there was a lake out there for I most know of the year i they were happy i know they were definitely enjoying the, the water effect definitely babe that out to me a long time ago and I never knew about it. You would think those were things I would know about up here, but no. There it is, guys. You, you can't really see it, but there's a water fountain right there. Hold on. I'm not recording. Look at how beautiful. I always love the way the town of Baldwin looks. It, it's, it's, it's gorgeous, right? It looks like a little, um, you know, fake display. Like, what do you call that? Like a Hollywood set? Yeah, it looks like a little set, uh, like a replica type of thing. Totally. It, it's really cute. Kind of like we're at Universal or something. Yeah, it does. So cute. Temperature didn't get as cold as I thought it would over here, guys. But if the sun wasn't up, it would have been a lot colder on this side than it is. Look at that thing spin. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. I man. never usually see that spinning at all. So. Which is weird because this is very windy. I used to come out here every single day to visit my friend Chandler, um, our next door neighbor whose um, daughter went crazy on me, uh, oh. her her son. So I would drive out here every, every single day because he had a house right like on the lake when there is a lake and uh, I would just hang out while he and all the other friends are playing video games all night. All night, it was just fun. Like, I actually enjoyed watching them play because they were really good at playing these games. And it felt like I was watching a movie. I know that doesn't sound fun, guys, to just sit and watch your friends play. But I'm horrible at uh, video games. And I liked Chandler a lot. We would jam. Like, that was, that was the last time I played any music. Besides playing with my other good friend who we're going to go gonna get to meet him bit and I'm so I, 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 I'm so excited we're gonna go skiing soon dr. Orr, he's a snowboarder Jeff he's such a good babe you're gonna love him so much he is such a good dude 
I am lucky to call one of our town's best doctors, one, one of my best friends. We used to spend a lot of time together. And then, uh, you know, he, he got busier, I got busier, and we just haven't hung out much. But he's, he's an angel of a human being, just a, a darn angel. And as I said, babe, you will love Dr. Orr. Because I have my father for any medical stuff, I, I can call him and he'll prescribe me something or, or give me it, it, you know advice. I also have Jeff to help me out too, which is great. I do have my older sister. She's an emergency room doctor, but we don't really get along much. Um, she used to be my favorite sister too, but it's unfortunate. Unfortunate. So guys, look. Do you see how very little snow there is? It's like nothing over here. At like, like absolutely nothing over here. Yeah. I guess absolutely nothing would mean absolutely nothing, but there's very little snow. And then on, on these hills right here, there's nothing. When I say absolutely nothing, that's absolutely nothing. Isn't that crazy, man? How the Big Bear snow rule works like that? There's just like very little snow over here compared to the other side of town. And the other side of town, guys, is just through this like keyhole in the valley, right when we pass this house, way out there. That's the other side of town. Also, when I got my tires rotated over at my friend's shop, they didn't put one of the tires on right and it was banging back and forth. And luckily I took it right back and they tightened it. But yeah, it's just, it's just tough. I, I've had my friend Ray and my friend Jesse, my friend Jesse had a brand new truck. He went to get an oil change, took the truck back home in the morning. He, he, he came out, his whole driveway was full of oil. And my friend Ray's car, the same exact thing happened and his car didn't work ever again. He had to buy a brand new car. And the previous owners there uh, did the same oil change thing with my Mercedes. I had an ML 500 and a day after my oil change, I was driving down in Lucerne Valley going about 90 miles an hour and my engine starts to smoke and my engine seized up because there was no oil in the car and of course they didn't take any responsibility I don't want to sue people I don't have the money or the time but yeah um, again that was before my friend Dave owned, owned that spot but yeah it's again I love him so much but it's just been issue after issue after issue with that place I would never let them touch my new car ever but my new car has a warranty for like I, I don't know five years and a cert, certain amount of mileage I only have 6,000 miles on my new car and I've had it for 14 months and I put those 6,000 miles on the car in three months and then I've hardly driven it for the past year but yeah This town isn't full of a bunch of people with a lot of money. So, you know, if errors like that are made and your your oil isn't like uh, screwed on right, 
so it doesn't leak or like something like that. It it can it can ruin you up here. We just don't don't have a lot of money up here. Again, I I love my friend so much. Like I, I he's he's just an amazing human, but yeah, I just you know what? I like him so much. If I if I had endless amounts of money, I would still take my car there just to just to support him. And I've I I referred so many people there. There's a free sledding spot here in Baldwin. It's on Shea Road. Unless this is Baldwin Lake Road, because it turns into Shea Road. We're, we were on, this has been Baldwin Lake Road, but I don't know if, if this is the Shea Road portion yet. We'll see. This is one of, the, one of my favorite parts of this whole drive, is driving under this tunnel of trees right here. When I first moved out here, this, this it would make me feel so good inside, driving this little 200 yard stretch. That's how I used to feel when I would drive through the two and 10. Oh, told, babe, I still feel like that, yeah. And this is where totally. you saw the donkeys, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. I This is the area where I've seen them most. And for one of the aftermath videos of the six feet of snow we got, Right when I turned right here, that's where they just lined up. A bunch of donkeys were just right here, straight straight in front of me, right here. And I stopped and talked with them for... One of my favorite videos, guys. Mine too, babe. So if you guys want to go back on that one too, you'll really enjoy that one. Yeah, and, and since I have so many aftermath videos, it'll, it'll be like, if you type in like, type in aftermath snow 2022 Big Bear. And then uh, just you, you'll you'll see the thumbnail, which it shows the donkeys. Yeah, and it's, the way you were talking to them was so cute. Uh, it was yeah. So fun! I love that video. Thanks, baby. It always makes me laugh when thanks, I watch it. Thanks, baby. You weren't with me for that video, were you? I was down the mountain. That's right. That was after one of the. I think that was last year when we had that huge snowstorm, and then everything was clearing up, and I was still at my mom's. And you went out for a drive and saw that. Yeah, I went out for a lot of drives during, but I I was locked in for three days because oh, our our snowplow guy's truck broke its four wheel drive, and that made us stuck. So now this season we have a big company who does our snow plowing, and we haven't needed it because they won't plow our driveway unless it's, it's six inches of snow or more. We so, need a snow shovel this year. Mm. Yeah, for me anyway, because I can. I need to be able to shovel myself out. That's true, babe. I remember when I lived in Sugarloaf, or on Sugarloaf, my driveway was really long. And the first year I was there, I parked all the way up to the door and it snowed, so I had to <laughs> completely dig out my own driveway from the door all the way down. <laughs> yeah, what a, like what a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a lot of work so I never did that again I always was aware like if it's gonna snow don't park all the way near the door or just every hour go out and clean up what's what's falling that's 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 the best way to do it is just to handle it so we're on highway 38 guys this is a way out of out of Big Bear it's, it, it's my favorite way because you actually feel like you're driving through a really big mountain range because you're driving parallel to the mountains. Unlike the other drives, which are still gorgeous because you have views like you're in heaven looking down, but it, it, it really feels like a tiny mountain range because it is. But this drive, as I said, most of the drive, you're running parallel. So you're driving in the middle of the mountain range and it, it just feels like you're in the it's Rockies. Really nice. It's really nice. But the roads on this side are a little bit more sketchy. I, I, I don't, uh, maybe. I mean, th this is what I feel is the safest route up here. And so that's why I always refer my mom uh, to take this route. I refer all of you to take 
this route only because there's less areas to to fly up, fly off the mountain. Yeah. Less traffic and it, and much straighter for longer longer periods. But you do hit a higher elevation, and sometimes you there can be a ton of snow up there. But it's basically a flip of the coin. But this is the way that I send my mom. Um, but I I can understand. I remember last year Rachel called me in absolute tears, but she had just got her, her her brand new car. That was my fault though, because he told me not to go that way and I did not listen to him. I went that way anyway. Do we go right here? Yes. Okay. And so when I got to the highest peak over there, I mean, it was coming down and I was in the Kia. I was Poor so thing, scared. Seriously. <laughs> and she had an amazing snow vehicle prior, but um, yeah. I, I'll get one again. I, I really want to buy a Discovery, so that's next on my list. After the Kia. So we're on a street called Montclair, guys. Where is it, baby? Right here. The, the, right here. Where that? Where the room, yeah. Okay. So just give me two minutes, okay? All right, baby. Or less. Okay. It's not going to take long. All right, guys, hang tight, and hope you're enjoying this this cruise with us, real quick. Just hang tight for a minute. All right, guys. See you, Sadi, sadi. All right, so we are going to pull over for a second. When my windshield wipers are frozen, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what I do to clean my windshield real quick. It's my windshield wiper fluid that's frozen. So I'll just grab a little bit of snow, a little bit of fresh cheese right here. Oh, look at how nice that is. a little bit more you kind of just throw this at the windshield boom we'll get one more oh yeah all right babe let's roll Woo. man that is cold Since we're over here, we're gonna. This is my 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 favorite mobile home park in this whole region, I like you guys. This area too. It's 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 really great. They have a swimming pool, I think. They do. And a spa. Really nice newer stuff in here, and then right across the street are some big big properties, where my friend Pops, one of the nicest men in the world. He owns two of the biggest properties up here. Just, just a sweetheart. Such a down to earth man. Right babe, like so down to earth. Yeah, he's really nice. And then this is where the park, park is where I take, this is usually where I take the dogs when I do take them to the park because this is my favorite. Where? Um, uh, it's straight ahead and to the left. Yeah. It is my favorite part to take them to. See donkeys there. You should see them. They like see the donkeys and the donkeys are like hee hawing and the dogs just. We're on Baldwin, what by the, the way. Heck is that? <laughs> We're on Baldwin, by the way, you guys, driving up to Sugarloaf. We're going to take a quick little stroll through the loaf because I know a lot of my local friends who live up here want me to drive through the loaf. So I want you guys to see what sugar loaf looks like. As a matter of fact, let's do moon loaf, babe. Yeah. My neck can handle moon loaf. Oh, come on. Remember what happened last season, guys? We took a really like tough road and my wife had just been in a little car accident and that tough road really messed her up. So yeah, we'll avoid Moonloaf because we don't want to hurt. I'm sure that your fans want to see the moon. 
Yeah, but they don't want to see you lungs. paralyzed. It's fine. Go ahead. I'll be paralyzed. <laughs> I don't want to be yelled at and told why I come. All right, guys. We are headed up towards towards Moonloaf, but we're not going to take it. I want to take it now. Are you sure, babe? Frick the neck. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Are we allowed to say frick on the channel? Uh, well, maybe once, yeah. Oh, okay. That's the one and only time I'll ever say it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I'm going to get like banned or shadow banned, I want it to be because of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be awesome, guys. I'm a little bit nervous. I always get nervous, but taking Moonloaf and I'm sure not a lot of people are still watching but those of you who are, are going to get a nice surprise I'll put it in the title I will definitely put it in the title and yeah I just uh, you know I don't want my wife's neck to be hurt like that and so since with a lot of these drives I do like to go through Moonloaf I, I just never want to hurt her. Look at those. And then I'm I'm like, why would you even want to come, babe? If, if, if you those are huge. Uh, were those freaking what should I call it? I believe those are ravens, not crows. <clears throat> That's why they're so big. Yeah. Okay. But also, one of my very favorite birds. Like I love those birds. They're gorgeous. And we're on Barton right now, guys. So we took Baldwin Road up to Maple, turned left on Maple, and then a right on on Barton. Yeah, babe, those are beautiful birds. Which, so, which ones are the ones that are kind of scary for our chickens? The eagles, obviously, right? I think it's the hawks, actually. Okay, I don't even think okay. the eagles are bothering with the chickens, but I think it's the hawks, and then the, because we live amongst the pine trees, I read that the crows actually protect the chickens, which I don't know how true that is. It's just something I read that, um, you know, if a hawk were to come down and try to attack a chicken, that the, the crow would actually protect it. So that's odd. That, babe, that's, research that's it, so cool. It. That is so I cool. About, so I'm grateful for those crows because I'm sure that's why. She um, also read about these like chicken s sweaters, which are just the cutest cutest thing oh, ever i have bad news about the chicken sweaters though yeah you already told not, me yeah like they'll they so they'll get wet and then it'll yeah it, it'll freeze them yeah all right so hang on a, 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 a quick second guys all righty guys so yeah we cut off the moon loaf as you can see but that's because we put the moon loaf at the beginning of the video for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that it was a bit of an adventure wasn't it seeing that little Toyota Prius like uh, I, I just I still don't know how, how they pulled it off but it it makes me very proud of them and we are here on McAllister we're gonna turn left on um, McAllister to head back down into lower Moon Ridge we're like in in the middle part basically so we just got one more little steep ride and then we're done right baby right Straight ahead, you can get a little peekaboo view of Snow Summit right there. This white truck is tailgating that other truck. Not a good idea on ice, but hey, who am I? Look at, look at him, like right on that guy's tail. This is gonna sound horrible, but when I see people driving like that, it's almost like they deserve what comes when they rear end someone and then have to get their insurance raised. Cause it's so dangerous. Like even without snow and ice, it's so dangerous to drive. And then <laughs> this dude's doing the same thing. It, it, it must be just the white trucks today are just angry about something.
All right, we made it through the most dangerous parts of this whole drive. Right now we're running parallel to Moon Ridge Road. This is Cougar, right, baby? I always get Cougar and Sonoma mixed up because that way, so straight ahead where that white car is or that black car is with snow on it, the, the Mercedes is, is coming. There's a street here that we can turn to the left and the street sign is so crooked, I can never tell if this is Sonoma or Cougar. Here, here it is. You can make this like U-turn. Okay, yes, that's gotta be Sonoma. So we're on Cougar now, turning onto Elm Street to get back to Moon Ridge. Oops. All right. All right, guys. We're coming to the end of our rope here. Thank you guys again for cruising with us on this stressful journey because it is stressful driving in these types of conditions. But I love doing it, especially to show you guys what's going on. Again, I want you guys to be as safe as humanly possible and being able to see the roads before you get here can, can give you a good idea of what to expect, okay? So, we're gonna end it on this street called Evergreen. We're back on Moon Ridge Road. Yeah, again, guys, thank you again. Don't forget to click on the link to find out how to win your free stay. You'll see it in the comment section. Um, it'll give you the full instructions once you get to my Instagram page. Good luck to everybody with that. Don't forget also go to bigbearweatherandmore.com to get a, a, a bunch of new merch that just dropped. We have a bunch of awesome calm before the storm stuff. You guys will be stoked with that. That's one of my monikers, right? Um, so ski warrior goggles, there'll be a link there too. Everything's going to be in the comment section and video description. Also for your ski and snowboard rentals and purchasing equipment, go to getboards.com. Once again, that'll be in the comment section. Um, and yeah, for a beautiful brand new tough shed, you'll have all your information there too. Tell Roberto Vasquez, the YouTube guy from Big Bear sent you guys and he should take care of y'all and thank you guys again we really 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 appreciate having you guys here with us i can never stress enough how awesome my life is because of of you guys you guys have uh you have given me a purpose and i am so focused on doing this and never missing any storms i love doing it this this is not a job for me guys i i'm so passionate about it i love it and uh all right baby would you like to say say bye bye? Bye, you guys. Thank you for joining us. I always have so much fun on these adventures. Totally, totally. And and, and thank you for calling to have me swoop you up, babe. Oh yeah, that's right. You still have to take me back to Th my that. Car. That's correct. At OJ's, where I my replaced, favorite donut shop yeah, by I far in Big Starbucks Bear. with OJ's. It's definitely more affordable. You don't have to wait in the line, and it's just the coffee's so yummy. Yes. Well. Yes. No, the coffee's not yummy? No, it's compared to uh, Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company, oh, no. definitely. But Coffee Roasting Company, I will stop there sometimes in the morning. And because I'm up so early, they're not uh, sometimes yeah, not so early. Yeah. Because I go about 6 or 7 a.m. So it's, you know, pretty early. Definitely, definitely. But yes, Coffee Roasting Company at home all the way. And when they're open, always stop by through there because... Oh my god. They have somewhat difficult hours, which is Chris, the owner, has some um, medical issues, and I admire this man so much. But yeah, Such a great guy. by far the best coffee in town. They do all their roasting in house. But yeah, my wife wakes up so early. She's, she uh, sometimes has to go to OJ's because they have donuts there too. Yeah. Chris has um, uh, pastries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, I definitely keep it stocked at home. definitely keep it stocked at home and that's what I drink at home because that coffee is so there's so much flavor in Chris's coffee like it's so fresh far, right like you cannot beat that so, yeah and it's know. just so fresh all right guys 
thanks again. I gotta go drop drop my beautiful bride off. Again, some, sometimes on these drives I get a little bit stressed, guys, but it's because I don't wanna cause any accidents. I wanna be as safe as I possibly can and give you guys the best views and the best footage I, I, I can possibly give you to help, to help keep you safe. That's the main goal here, guys. So anyway, I love you all. We're on Summit Boulevard driving away from Snow, Snow Summit and we are going to be ending the video right now. Love you, baby. Love you too. And I love you guys. Take care, guys. Peace out.